John, do you remember where you are? <laughs> King's College Hospital, London. <laughs> thank God, thank God. A major trauma centre. Keep the curb jackknifed onto the verge. Have we got a good pulse? Have we got an output? You and know? one of the busiest A&E departments in the world. He will probably scream, but he won't remember. No, stop! Ah! A place where love... Come on, sir. Let's go. Up you go. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Life. There you go. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> and loss. It's, it's all right. Unfold every single day. Ah! Don't cry. Yeah. Don't and we'll make, make sure right. mummy stays okay. with you. Listen. Right, who's not busy? Squeeze that. We can't give up on her. Come on. We've got to be strong for mum. If it is the last bit, hey. All the patients you're about to see were treated in one department oh! in just one 24-hour period. I never cease to be amazed at the robustness of human beings. I love you. And the strength of their relationships. Love, it's a reflex. It's what you do for many of the families, despite the devastation that they may be facing. They give unconditional love. American friggin' football, right? Uh... I've got to go home and keep it in a sling and keep it elevated all the time. 7% okay. of patients come to A&E with fractures, breaks or dislocations. <laughs> and there's some codeine as well. More medicines we do to make it better. Where were you playing American football? Burgess Park. 28-year-old Ahmed dislocated his shoulder in a game of American football. It's going to give us something this at this point. Yeah, so. yeah. Apparently in London, you guys have a few parks, so the parks are pretty, just a pretty, few. pretty just big, a few. though. Where are you They're from? They're pretty big when you get to them, so... Uh, Canada. Whereabouts? Toronto, uh, Toronto, you know, Niagara Falls region. T dot. T dot, yeah. I've been here for, this is my third year now. OK, you studying? Studying pharmacy. Uh. You've got different methods of putting shoulders back in. You know, you kind of have the discussion with your seniors or your colleagues beforehand, say, oh, I'm going to use the Cocker's method, I'm going to use the modified Milch method, or I'm going to use all these kind of methods. When in the end, it's kind of like, and then you just pop it back in. Yeah, I can feel it, you know, I'm just talking about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready to have a go? Yeah. OK, let's yeah. put this on that side. Uh... Have you got the collar and cuff? All right, all right, all right, I've got you. I've got you. Keep sucking on that. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Keep taking nice, big, deep breaths on that. Relax. Relax. How's the pain? All right, do what you need to do. Yeah? yeah. Keep, just keep taking it. Keep taking the thing.
There we go. <laughs> Thank God, thank God. Oh. oh my God, that's the best feeling in the world. Really? Yeah, no. You can't I, think of I, anything I better? Well, <laughs> right now it's all right. Okay. When you hear the clunk of a shoulder going back in, you're like, you're like yes. I felt it just roll into place. Thanks a lot, man. No worries. It's like scoring a goal when you manage to get a shoulder back in. Or winning ten pounds on the lottery. <laughs> oh, yeah, done, done. I know we're nearly, very nearly finished now. I'm just getting it in the best position I can get it in. Because we often see patients come in uh, walking for three days on broken ankles, saying, "Oh, it's a bit stiff, doc." It, it was all right. That was. Thursday, wasn't it? Yeah. It was okay. Well, I mean, it was painful, but it was okay mm. Friday. Yeah. And you get somebody coming in with a paper cut who's screaming, uh, you know, as if the house is on fire. Yeah, to take a patient's pain away is quite satisfying. Because even though the problems are not gone, you've just taken away the pain, it's a start. Surprise me. Is it a bit better? Yeah. 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 When someone's in pain, they need your help. When you aren't able to do that, it's almost as if you failed at what you were trained to do. Hello, King Yeah. Okay, so she had morphine and. Um, thank you. Bye. The paramedics are bringing in a 24 year old man. This is his third admission for chronic pain in the past two months. Red phone, nine minutes, red phone, nine minutes. When I see people with long-term illnesses, you do think about the family and how hard it must be for them to cope. You feel sorry for them because you can't cure them. Hi, Malcolm, it's Rubio. I've got a 20-odd-year-old chap who I'm going to refer to the medic. He's got Bacchus disease and it's quite complicated. Has <coughs> Bacchus disease. Um, it's a syndrome. Mm -hmm. Pain going in his hips oh. and down his legs. Oh. Uh, uh. 20 milligrams of morphine. Lee was diagnosed with Betchett syndrome, a disease that affects the immune and nervous systems six years ago when he was 18. All right, Same when Lord. Lord. You should have seen him when we got there. Yeah. You can see the pain he's in now. And that's yeah. after all that. He's been through so much. And he gets, he gets, he's in so much pain, every now and then he'll just go out. Can you two do something simple like go for a walk together? No. He can't even go to the shop downstairs because by the time he's done that, he's in agony. He would have been doing football, he'd been dancing a lot more. He would have been. He would have been in the army. Well done. You've just got to write your write your notes, okay? Danny Neal, you can you follow me? Hi. Hi. Dad of one, Danny has come in with a swollen toe. Go take a seat. Yeah. Hi there, my name's Chris. I'm one doctors. What can we do for you? Well, I put my foot through my son's bucket 
just under two weeks ago now. Um, you say through the bucket, actually? Um, he had a plastic bucket. Yeah. Um, I got dizzy, I banged into a bookshelf and an ornament fell, knocked it across in the path of when I was stumbling. Okay. And my foot went straight, like, into it, crushed the bucket under my foot. Okay. Barefoot. Um, and for the first few days, the whole of my foot underneath was all swollen. Okay. But my big toe, which actually at the time, thinking about it, was the most pain I had. Um, and have you seen your GP about it? No. OK, why not? Because I just thought, look, I'd just bruised it a little bit and it would get better, but it hasn't. So what made you come in to the emergency department today? Um, so you've had it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. What made you come in today? Well, I, I, I didn't really notice it before. It was just today when I actually put them down, I noticed it, so I thought I'd better okay. come and get it checked. Can we have a look at the other one then? OK, let's have another look. So that's fine there. Yeah, but when you get down to where the ball bit is, it starts hurting. How about there? No, not so much. There. There. Ah. Oh, so that's the worst bit there, is Yes. It? OK. It made it hurt up here, yeah. OK, let's get an X-ray of that. Men, in general, handle pain less well than women. Have you had any painkillers today? No, I haven't no. had nothing today, cos I haven't had nothing to eat, so I like haven't... Um, yeah, actually, I could... Well, no, cos I haven't eaten, so I don't really want to. OK. Uh, I don't know if that's because we get mothered by our mums as little boys, um, whereas girls are left to get on with it. Yeah. Right, the x-ray's fine. Yeah? Yeah, there's no fracture, no break, so it's just bruised. OK. So just simple painkillers. All right, thank yeah. you. Lee's acute pain is a result of Betchett syndrome. It started six years ago with a numbness in his leg. Oh, oh thank you very much. Take this edge off. See if I can close my eyes for a bit. There is no cure for Betchitz. The staff can only help manage Lee's pain. It's a form of vasculitis. It affects the nerves, muscles, immune system, blood system, ear, nose and throat, joints. It's just all of them rolled into one. I said before, but before I got this, I was playing football for three football teams, jogging, like mornings and things like that, and then I got this, and it was like, yeah, hey, you're not doing that no more. <laughs> One thing I wanted to kick a ball again. That's my main dream. It's just to, even a five-side football match. It's my main dream, kick a ball again. Have you still got it in your hips? Uh, yeah. Usually it's the right hips, but since I passed out and up, went to my house and I passed out on a wooden floor. Oh, landed right on my left hand and side. Oh, and since God. then, my left side's been playing up now as well. Lucky. Since I got this six years ago, it's, oh, it's been nothing but trouble. Uh -huh. When I go past um, grass and smell a cut, fresh cut grass, that's one thing that gets me still to this day. It, might, it just brings me back memories of back when I was playing before I had Betchitz. I love that smell. <laughs> I could sit there and just smell fresh cut grass all day and just be happy. <laughs> it's weird. I wish I had straightened my leg. It may sound horrible. I wish I was in like, a car accident and had a lot of broken bones because that could have been fixed. Like, let's have fixed for that. But yes, it's just, well, there is no cure for it. And I was more drunk last night than I have been in, like, 
several days. <laughs> yeah, but you think for most people that would be weeks. <laughs> yeah, should be weeks for you and all. Yeah. <laughs> You're jumping away like a monkey there. Very hungry. <laughs> Cam Laddie has earache. She's come in with her husband, Ravi. She was having a problem with her ears. <laughs> Somebody said if you put a stick of garlic in your ear, yeah, uh -huh. that will reduce the pain. Okay. Not, not the full one, only okay. single, single one, yeah? Oh, yeah. You can see it, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go and speak to one of my seniors and then we can All come right. back. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. So, sorry? <laughs> She's got no hearing loss right um. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, right. Um, but um, how long has it been in there for? A day. Okay. Do you want to take it out? Yeah. Come with me. This garlic doesn't work, does it? Somebody, no, somebody I've, I've never heard of it. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be honest. Try that. Yeah. So, can you just tilt your head a little bit? Like that? Yeah. That's it. Thank you. If it's got teeth on it, if you just grab it, you may be able to get some friction. There you go. Yeah, done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you can take it home thank if you want. Let's <laughs> 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 double check. Make sure there's nothing left behind. You do find. You get people with just really strange things wrong with them. Yes, awesome. They're old. You do hear about these weird remedies like that, though, but I thought it would be crushed garlic. Because <laughs> when she said that, I was thinking, oh, this is gonna... That could be a mess, yeah. yeah. Uh, that will definitely be my suction. Some people do put objects in certain orifices that are inherently amusing. I guess. You, you kind of have to laugh, otherwise you'd go insane. So, it's, yeah, they're, they're, they're the good fun ones. Hello, darling. Your mum's here. Do you want her to come in? Yes, yes, please. Um, oh, um... Oh. Right, I've got some more dice in the pan. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's nice to warm you. Open seven for six and you're never knocking out for a little bit. Sleep is all good. You don't feel pain when you're asleep. <laughs> it's just they say. Lee, when he was younger, he used to be in a football team, do training, um, just started work as a doctor's PA. Yeah. Very outgoing, happy boy, always out. Hey, get my socks on, please. Yeah, he's, um... My feet are really calm. Let's get socks on. You know how to do it. Just roll, 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 roll. Oh god, I can't even get pronounced words properly. This is getting ridiculous. Roll, 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 roll your boat. Yeah, roll, 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 Don't you done? Ah, stream. Stream. Well, that's all kicking in a minute, Ah. And then one day in work, he couldn't feel his legs, and um, we rushed him to Kings, obviously to try and find out what the problem was. Um, kept him in for about three weeks and eventually got to the point where they, we found out it was bed shits. Mm. It's not cold feet. Ah, 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 
We don't need telling twice. Leave me alone. You okay? You cool? All right. You might get McDonald's breakfast this week. Well, this week? Today. You're going to treat me to McDonald's yeah, breakfast? I said you've been a good boy. All depends what time. Are you going to treat me to McDonald's breakfast? Yeah, I bought you McDonald's last week. You're going to treat me yes. to it? Well, he has been good taking his morphine, and I did say so I'd. All right, then I will. I'll let him have something. Oh, see, I'm saying I'm glad, okay? <laughs> <laughs> No, I said he could. I was gonna get him something for when he takes it. Ah! Uh -huh. No, I can't relax yet. I'm playing ball. The weekends we decide to go up to Nick's. I wear heels. No. I wake up in the morning, the first thing that hits me is pain. So the first thing I remember in the morning is, you've got bed hits, sort of thing. And the last thing I remember at night is the pain, sort of thing, before I go to sleep. So I've got to take sleeping pills just to get to sleep nowadays because the pain's just it's too uncomfortable for me to sleep. Huh? Is that gas? A little bit, yeah. Little it's bit. just. Taking the edge off of it, you know what I mean? That little bit of edge of it. And I think it's keeping my mind on something as well, which is helping with the sort of yeah. controlling do, the pain. Do you take regular painkillers at home? Purpose. That's the one thing I've been missing since I've had this, having a sense of purpose, you know? But when I had this, I, at least I knew there was things I was doing there. So the reason for me to dig up the next day, the reason for me to wake up. First year, like, I've done a few stupid things and... It doesn't hit me anymore. That's bad. I just get a few teary moments, as you can tell. <laughs> when I was just about to turn 20, I just thought that was a burden to everyone. Oh. And that point, I was just like, oh, I can't do anything. It's just the point of me being here. He just was really bad one night, and he, and he called me and he said, like, he's got no life, he can't meet any friends, he can't get out. I just felt worthless. I'm just wasting air, really, you know? Might as well just get rid of that, get rid of it, get rid of that, get trouble out of people's lives. So we lived three floors up and I was sort of looking down at the window. sitting on the window ledge. Just back to sort of lean forward and just go into the concrete. Mum saw me at the window. She just dragged me in and went, that's it. It will just take you to a shrink. Head back. Leave for the go sleep. Head back, that's it. Back a bit. Make sense? Hey man, I'm just wondering if Ahmed is still in recess or whether you know anything about him. Has he? Oh, they discharged him. That's cool. All right, thank you. That's great news. Ahmed's already gone home. They let him out just after. American football coach Jacob has brought in Andrea. That's unfair. I want to go home too. 
he was knocked unconscious in the same game as his teammate, who dislocated his shoulder. Head up, man. Eyes open. It's not falling asleep. So okay, usually that one comes over the top. First. Lift your hands up. Hands up to heaven. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay. I'm very sorry. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm bent from my, from my sins. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got a nice you, you got a nice young nurse looking after you. Yeah, it's and you, I'm very sorry, really sorry. <laughs> I was very, very concerned about that. Yeah, he said he didn't want to take it off in case it stank. You've got to make up to this pretty young girl now. I'm very, she... very sorry. I'll pay you a coffee if you want. Oh, you're OK. You're fine. Cheers. You stink, um, by the way. What? You stink. <laughs> i got a perfume in my bag, Coach, if you stink really uh, You're fine. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's my oh. Irish sense of humour. Don't worry. Are you Irish? No, you're going <laughs> to... So you've only just realised. Yeah. I'm not from here. How can I recognise the accent? I'm stuck with you, unfortunately, for a while. Unfortunately? Yeah. C'est pas très gentil, ça. Can you reach us? The paramedics are bringing in a 30-year-old dad of four. He was found unconscious at the bottom of a stairwell. This is Simon, he's a 30 year old gentleman. Tonight he's um, passed out and fallen down about seven steps. Um, he's complained of C spine pain and tenderness. He's had a relationship breakdown on Valentine's Day, and since then he's not eaten or been eating and drinking. That's up, and it's probably all more emotional. And he's apparently passed out at the top of the stairs and fell down about six or seven steps. He can't remember what happened, and his partner's just broken up with his children at the time. It's really quite a stressful situation. Hi, guys. How are we doing? My name's Charles, I'm one of the dogs. What's our friend's name? Simon. OK. So, Simon, we call this a log roll. We call it a log roll because you okay. pretend to be a piece of wood, basically. You just lie still. <laughs> Jackie, the boss there, is just going to, when you're on your side, is put, feel your back, give you a few pokes here and there. You need a yes for pain, a no for no pain, no nodding and shaking of your head. Right. All right? Ready, All right. steady, roll. <laughs> Sorry, Simon. My kids saw me go downstairs and they were crying their eyes out. All they, all they were saying was, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy's hurt, Daddy's injured. OK, is that your scapula that's hurting the shoulder blade? Yes. OK. Oh, is it right scapula is a point of tenderness. Okay. What about in the middle here? No. 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 Can you feel me touching there? Yeah. And there? <laughs> and just squeeze your bottom. OK. <laughs> Happy. Okay. okay. On your call. Ready, steady, down. All right. You've got inline still. Okay. Okay. So I'm, without trying to beat around the bush, because of your builds, it's yeah. possible that we won't be able to get the X-rays that we need to get, because we have to see the bone at the bottom of your neck. Uh, the trouble is, Simon also has a very small, we think, subdural MRI from a previous fall, so uh, we may wind up doing a head and neck CT, but we'll cross the bridge when we come to it. My whole body just melted. I said to her, there's your Valentine's card, there's your flowers and that, and she just shouted out from the top of her voice, I don't love you no more. Did you not kiss yourself out at the time? Um, my okay. girlfriend and... Do you remember falling? No, I passed out. Oh, okay. so, it, so it wasn't as so much a fall as a faint? Yeah. OK. Um, your background health? Asthma, diabetes, kidney problems? Fine, I'm fine. Regular medications? Fine, yeah, oh, right, OK. Simon and his partner were together for 10 years. They have four children. I feel like my heart broken, smashed them into pieces. I didn't know what I've done wrong. That's why I ended up in a &E, because I didn't, I wasn't eating for like four days, solid. All right, if you keep as still as you can, Simon, I'll do a quick heart tracing. Okay. Did you ever think you would lose her? No, never. 
Never been in years, no, never. He doesn't want us to cut his clothes off, Claire. It was a broken heart that led him to get a physical injury. For a male to come in and physically be, you know, well, stop eating and being unwell over a woman, I can't say I've seen that a lot. Squeeze both my hands as hard as you can. Harder, harder, try and hurt me. Come on, you're tougher than that. I know it's scary, we'll get you all sorted, all right? Do you want a tissue? Have you always loved Cassie? Yeah, always, yeah, from day one. From day one when she moved around the state. I see her walking up and down the street with her sister going to the shops. She's being a boob tube and mini skirt in the summer, right? Like, and I was just like, wow. Do you want your sock off? No, yeah, if you want my sock, my foot's getting cold. Why'd you take your sock off? Because she had a really bad itch and I couldn't oh, get to it. I keep itching because of the morphine, isn't it? She's, I've asked her, she's just going to get a doctor to run out of you. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh! Sorry. We'll hold it. Ah, 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 ah. Lee, do you think you need some more morphine? Lee. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Where the hell am I? Hospital. What? You're in the hospital. You're right. It's just a little bit of Keynes. It is Keynes. It's not yeah, guys, it's, is it? It's, 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 no, it's, it's recess. It's recess. It's the new bit, remember? They, they brought you into Keynes. Right. right. I'm just going to get. I'm going to get you some tissues. No, leave it. The, the, it dropped. It dropped. <laughs> He used to have loads of girlfriends years ago, and then this big blot in his life for three years where he's not, not been able to go out, he's not met anybody, and then all of a sudden she comes along and it's just a, a attraction straight away. You can't have it yet because the gas it drops on the floor. Oh, I hate the way it hits you like that. I know. They're just meant for each other. Deep breaths. Yeah, since he's met Megan, his life has changed. Dropped on the floor, innit? So you don't wanna. Yeah. Megan and Lee met seven months ago at a party. I saw him as he was coming downstairs, as I was coming up, and it sort of clicked from there, really. Just drink. So you liked him from the moment you saw him? Yeah. <laughs> he lets people shine. If you can't shine yourself, he'll help you. I think I'm just lucky. Just luckiest girl in the world, really. Where's the juice drink, babe? Hmm? Where's the drink, babe? The first time I had an attack was about two weeks into our relationship. And she slept on this little tiny, tiny chair, just didn't want to leave me, did not want to leave my side. And I was like, wow, it's the one. Without her, I don't think I'd be here right now. If it weren't for her. Mm. My head was getting back to a point where um, I was in a place where it was getting bad again. And she sort of just cut me at the right point. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm really itchy, morphine. What my head was like before she came along, sort of thing, it's just, wow, that's how, how lucky I am to have her. That's how lucky I am to have her, just so I keep thinking, lucky. <laughs> Got oh. Let me close this back. His eyes are hurting him. Ah, uh, yeah, he's... Thank you. He hasn't much. hit you again, has he? Not yet. <laughs> he probably you... wanted to. Are you alright? He didn't fine. hurt you, did he? No, no, I'm fine. Good. You do stink though, you know that. Respect. No, that's good. That's the smell of success. Just yeah, well, I'm playing Sunday anyway. Well, I... no, I'll be down get... to coach Ramos. No, I'll get clearance. Hi, guys. Good evening. How are we doing? Do you mind if we turn some light on? 
Yeah, he's uh, a bit sensitive to the light at the minute. All oh, oh. right. Uh, Do you reckon you can cope with it for a short while? Yeah. Totally good. Andrea, Mr. Gabus, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, you're good. Okay, my name's Charles on the dock. So, American football, hence the pads. I don't, now, I don't need that anymore. No, you don't. That's exactly. fine. From a head injury point of view, yep. no imminent risk of concussion. Okay, the, the slight light intolerance is a bit unusual, but I'm sure that'll settle. I'd avoid contact sport, unfortunately, until it settles down. Up to when? <laughs> until you've been pain free for a while. Right, all right. You just sign it. So, uh, I can play Sunday. I can't sign anything to say you can or you can't. The advice would be not to play until the pain is resolved. All right. Okay. All right, hold fire there. Right. We'll get you some pain we'll get you on your way. Okay, so that's cool. That's no, great news. There you go. All was good. Yeah, I was faking it, probably. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Take sure care. you'll see another Bye -bye. one of the team sooner or later. <laughs> Simon's workmate at the recycling plant, Steve, has come to his bedside. Yeah, what happened, didn't you? I got the gist of the story. I don't know if she can do this to me. Don't worry yourself about my ex just, just concentrate on getting you better. We get you out of here. We'll make sure that you get well. Make sure you get better. Well, I love her. Take care of yourself, Simon. All right. I'll see you when you finish. All right. I'll wait for you. Yeah, let's just feel like that. Feel tiny. You think, hang on a minute. You know, the big as I am, you. Walls crashing down on you, and you feel like you feel like a little mass. You know, you know, you ain't as big as you are anymore. As soon as that woman says that, it's, it's game over. Yeah. They've just taken him for a scan about three minutes ago. Um, he's under a morphine drip at the moment as well. Yeah, it's going to take a lot for him to build it, everything back up. He's not the same Simon I knew when we started to work, to tell you that for certain. Trying to keep Simon's spirits up, but even that, uh, that's bloody hard. Just have to see how everything goes. Ready? One, two, three. Fantastic, thanks very much. All right, Sam, your scan's fine. Let's get this for you, huh? So you better take me off now. Yeah. There we go. Now, I don't want you to start turning cartwheels or anything because you've been flat for a little while. Oh, man, that's better. OK, I'm just going to sit you up a little bit, all right? Simon's nan has come to take him home. I'm just going to sit you up a little bit, just let you relax, all right? And then I want to come back and re-examine your back a bit now, you know your neck's fine, and see if I have to order any more x-rays or not. 20 mils gamma on you? Yeah. OK. So all the scans are showing nothing wrong. What's going on? Well, probably just faint it because of your lack of food in his stomach. I've still been on my diet, though. I just eat a little bit, not too much. Mm. Two, three Brussels sprouts a day, that day. Three Brussels sprouts? No, thank you. I had two Brussels sprouts a day and about four carrots. I was thinking a um, lot more what I've done. If I should have ate, I should have done what everyone was saying. I mean, the whole family and friends said, get on with it, move on. You know, and what she's done, she's done. She's trying to move on herself. Um, but if I've hurt myself in the long run, How's my kids going to feel? That's basically my main priority. Nah. Simon, the other thing to say is I think you fell because you fainted, um, but sometimes when there's been a fall and you can't remember, there's always the risk that that could actually be a type of concussion. And so if you get any signs of delayed onset concussion, sort of vomiting, eyesight problems, all those things, come back and see us again. I don't think it's going to happen, otherwise I wouldn't be sending you home, but just so you know. 
But right. he's not eating either. He's okay. not eating since last Tuesday. Right. Is there any reason for that? Uh, well, what he's finished, going through at the moment. Just finished a ten-year relationship. All uh, right. Four okay. kids. You are eating something. You're not starving yourself. Nothing no. at all. No, You're drinking. It... Okay. Just fluid. Drink. Just fluid. As in hydrating rather than alcohol. I meant. Yeah, I don't drink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. It's always difficult to see somebody suffering, whether that is physical or emotional. And emotional suffering is more difficult to deal with than physical. All right. Charlie, good. All the best, my friend. Take it easy. All right. Um, any problems, give us a shout in terms of the neck and anything like that. But take care. Let's see. Look after yourself. I would not want to go through what Simon went through. Um, my wife means more to me than I can actually say. Losing her is not something I want to think about. You pay £711 pounds for flat hotels in New York. No, too expensive. I found one, I found one, I found one. In oh, Turkey, God. under £600, pounds, flight and hotel, all inclusive. Not for you. Look at the hotel. Is it, is it, a, I want, no. How about no pool? We just use the beach. What do you mean, no is, fucking pool? Is, is, is there a beach in Turkey? Where is Turkey? <laughs> it's near Greece, yeah? But you'll pay getting any easier with this one. Uh, yeah, a lot. The cause of Lee's Betchitz is unknown. Some sufferers grow out of it in middle age, but for many, it's a lifelong condition. Hmm. Oh. That look. When you do that, I give you that one of one of that enough, right? Mm. Yeah, but I couldn't see how far if it touched your lips or not. I just go like that on a general basis. When I do that, it's touched. When I do that again, it means I've had enough, all right? It means that, yeah. Let's try. Oh, ah. mm. It worked. <laughs> <laughs> So how many times do you go to come to hospital with me now? My newly engaged fiance. You don't have to keep saying it, you know. Yeah, but you're my newly engaged fiance. Yeah. My beautiful fiance. Do you like saying the word fiance? I love it. Fiance. <laughs> I love saying it. I do. I love showing. I, love, I was going to say I love showing her off. It's just one of those things. I love showing her off. I'm just happy. Ah, uh, uh. why have you taken off your finger? This man annoying me. Put it on that one then. Okay. Who should hold? I don't like it. Annoying me. Oh, shut up. Okay, I thought we met a couple already. <laughs> Stop moving. Lee? Lee, stay awake. Stay awake. I'm going to take it. It's enough. Because you are very, very, very jolly. Yes, I want to get married when he is fine. When he's fit and able to walk, stand, and then walk back and still carry on with the reception. You got my slippers on. I've just been rubbing yeah, the floor, haven't I? I'm not behind my feet. Even if it takes till we're 60, I'll wait till we're 60. Doesn't bother me. <laughs> this is really hard. But I'm not going to lose this. It's not going to beat me. Nothing's going to beat me. It's only one thing that's going to beat me, and that's my missus.
Hello. As you can see, I've got my girl back. Best woman in the world. Lovely. <laughs> I just kind of, as I do, stumbled and fell. But um, how much you had to drink just for health reasons? <laughs> People don't come for a laugh to marriage as well. It's not like a comedy club. Well, I don't know. Sometimes it is. Mm. It hurt to lock my phone. There is a massive spectrum in the way you can die. It can be very peaceful and comfortable, and that's very difficult to recreate in an A&E department. Thank you.